Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a kind of gardening themed B&M and Timu haul uh, just because I've got a few bits from each but it's not really enough for two separate videos so if you want to see what I picked up for the garden and a few other random bits as well then keep watching. So before I discuss this I would like you to know that the energy that I am trying to give today is somewhat fake um, because I have well I'm about I'm about to start and this is a bit TMI ladies and gentlemen um, I'm about to start the period from hell I can feel it my back is throbbing my stomach is swollen my face is puffy I feel rubbish I just want to eat cheesy mashed potato and cry over a soppy rom-com but I can't because I've got filming and editing to do and I'll have to pick my kids up in a bit and that is life so we're powering on um, but I do need to take some more pain relief in a bit because honestly you know when you just get a beastie one and it just makes you feel like you've lost the plot slightly it's one of those I don't get them very often but when I do they can be really quite horrible anyway um first things first is the elephant in the room um this is a as I'm sure you can tell a trellis it's quite a large one I'm five foot six so I'm I'm gonna say is this six foot maybe? I'm I'm not sure. It ends literally just out of camera here. Um, I got this from Wix. It was eleven pounds. Reason being, I have a climbing rose to the side of our garage, and I have a pissy little, <laughs> tiny, not properly affixed uh, mini trellis, uh, and it's just not going to do the job for this as it grows and I knew that I would need something a bit more substantial if I actually wanted to get some height this year um, because it started off very small my mum gave it me as like a little plant baby and um, it's getting bigger and I want it to you know last and thrive as the years go on and um, so I knew I would have to get something and this came up and it was actually affordable for once because I don't know about you um, but uh, gardening stuff is a little bit extortionate these days so that's just gonna live there for now um that was a bit random to start with uh, and I do have a few other random bits I'm just gonna get them and then we'll go through them very quickly and hopefully they're useful if you're in your gardening era like I am next random thing that I picked up was actually from the Karsha website itself um we have a lawn like trimmer trimmer type thing um i worked with kasha i think it was three years ago so the machine itself is from that and we've had it ever since i absolutely adore it because it's so useful especially if you have flagstones and you want to get rid of the weeds that come in between them it's it's a game changer it really speeds things up but i am um, i picked this up because my darling husband started using it and the cap that holds the spool of wire um has slowly gotten damaged over time and then recently while he's been using it it's gone walkabouts so while you can still use it in theory the spool of wire inside is just left loose and sometimes you'll be using it and fly off that's not safe I bought a new one it was cheaper to get it from cash direct than like places like B&Q or Amazon so that's what I did and then the Timu order so I hope I'm saying Timu right I don't order from there all the time. I do have a few bits and bobs. And to be honest with you, no, it's not the kind of place that I make a habit of ordering from because I know that it'd be like better to buy from small businesses or places like B&M, etc. Although I feel like a lot of it is coming from the same place. However, I've been looking to replace some things in my garden, like lighting, um, because over the years it's gotten damaged which is typical that sort of thing happens um but every time i look in places like b&m or even aldi the lighting prices have gone up so much i feel like you used to be able to get some fairly little you know cheap sets of lighting for a fiver or so and you really can't at the moment at least not in the stores that i've been to these first things are, you probably can't really tell, but they're actually going to be little mushrooms. So they come with little stakes. And because I have quite a whimsical garden, I'm trying to embrace it rather than turn it into something that is very like, you know, black fencing and, and, and anthracite decking and that kind of thing. I'm, I'm trying to embrace what, what we have, which is cute. And it's very cottage 
gardeny. Um, so I thought these would be quite sweet and the kids love this sort of stuff when the garden comes alive at night and they are playing outside pretty much every night at the moment while the weather's been nice which is amazing because it is so good to see. Um, so I picked those little mushrooms up. The next ones are two packs of the copper wire fairy lights. So I have a set on our garage which is the, the thicker lights like you would put around a Christmas tree but they've started to rust and sometimes they come on and sometimes they don't and that's not always reflective of how sunny it's been plus somebody has broken the stand like this that you put the solar thing on I'm guessing it was one of the kids um by accident and I just thought right I will see if these are any good and they weren't super expensive so this is like a curtain version and then these are some copper lights to wrap around my archway that I plan to grow sweet peas up um, again this year. Um, I also have a climbing rose on that, so it might be that in years to come, it's just gonna be a kind of climbing rose one. My mum gave me that. But I do prefer sweet peas, even though I know the rose will probably last a little bit better. Um, I love sweet peas. So I picked those up as well because they were on their way out. The one on the archway is actually broken. And then, Finally, I've already got a few of these things in our garden already, but they reflect really nicely. We have some of these in Daisy's bedroom. Um, they're kind of like little sun catchers. You can buy bigger ones of these in B&M, like really, really large ones, but I am just gonna get one out to show you. But these look beautiful in the sun and reflect lots of lovely light. And I just thought I would pick up a few because they were just really pretty and there was quite a few of them and obviously this isn't quite a taste like as I said I'm trying to make this a pretty and fun sort of country garden for the kids um, and they're a bit boho but they look like this and I think I got five in a pack so I'm going to dot those around as well just to sort of catch the sunshine make everything look pretty um, and yeah I don't order from there very much I've got a few things like bits and bobs around like kitchen organization i've got a few bits from there and these bits but um i find so far like the quality isn't that bad it's just whether or not like you're happy to wait or you know you're happy to buy from there um, and then finally i got some bunting i have some bunting already in the garden but i thought i would put this at the bottom um i have not started work on the bottom at all yet uh, so if you've never seen my garden before it's kind of like in tiers so there are three different levels to my garden and um, we have a brook running through it which is lovely and um, really nice to hear like the sounds of trickling water and stuff in your garden in the summer but these are kind of like a canvas material and I thought these would be pretty down at the bottom uh, because sometimes because it's just because of the levels, admittedly we don't really use the bottom that much because we've got enough space up on like level one and level two. Um, but I did want to make more of an effort and because a lot of the weeding and a lot of the planting I've gotten a lot better at over the years and I've made a huge dent in, I feel like I can um, give it a go a little bit more of like trying to make things look nice and stuff like that. Right, I'm just going to quickly put these away but I've also noticed that my voice is going a little bit from hay fever so sorry if that's annoying you because uh, it is me. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to put these little things out. I, I'm, I'm giddy. And then finally, this is what I picked up from B&M. So, marshmallow mateys because the kids brought these up at the weekend and said, can we get some more of those marshmallow cereal thing? And I said, I will see, but I saw them and I thought, oh, you know what, fine. Um, I picked up some Zaflora. This is a new scent, special edition called Tropical Palms. I didn't smell it because I was not in the mood for shopping. I just kind of went in and grabbed what I needed and then left. It's exactly what you would expect. A little bit fruity, a little bit coconutty, a little bit way, a little bit whoa. Very pina colada, actually, but in a nice way. Gardening items. I got bird seed and I got mealworms. For the birds, we have a bird stand in our garden from when I worked with Wilco a couple of years back. Um, years back, years ago, years back. Um, it was such a lovely team to work with and I know that they're coming back to a few select stores and they are online. Um, and I have to say, if you 
ever want garden stuff and it's not occurred to you it is worth checking because actually they're great value it's just again whether or not like you're happy to wait for delivery and um, i just nipped into b&m today because it was more convenient and i was already out um non-garden stuff just a few top-ups kind of what i needed and went for um hand soap this is only a pound and it's a milk and honey one um i also went in for toothbrush heads for our electric toothbrushes um but i couldn't find the ones that i normally get anywhere and i asked and the lady said that i think they're out of stock but they usually have three different types and the only ones that they had were the oral b ones which were like eight quid for three heads and i was like i'm not paying eight quid for three heads so i might have to check on amazon or something like that um but that was a bit irritating because we really need some new toilet brush heads toilet brush definitely not those you don't put those in your mouth toothbrush heads um i stocked up on some more um shower gel for the kids bathroom and i also got some more shampoo and conditioner for their bathroom because daisy's hair really really likes this um and the boys have got short hair so it kind of they can use pretty much anything and it'll be fine but obviously hers has got a bit of a curl to it um which she's not a fan of um anyway i would love her hair but we always want what we want what we don't have don't we because i've got straight hair with little curly hair um i got the shampoo and conditioner from garnier ultimate blends the banana one um it's just silicone free and daisy's hair really really likes it and my hair quite likes it when i shower in that too we don't always go in our own suite because mark hogs it a bit <laughs> And I prefer the main bathroom because it's lighter. Um, I got some Febreze plugins. I know it's not garden related, but it's just nice to have. And they had like a bit of a cleaning event on, so they seemed a bit cheaper than normal. And then I got some cotton wool pads, the larger ones. I got them from the baby section then because they actually worked out cheaper than the cosmetic ones that you can get and then i got two of these glasses which are my favorite glasses weirdly though in the past couple of weeks we broke one and then we broke the other one completely by accident and um i've had this conversation with nikki my sister-in-law but with certain glasses you know when you put them in your mouth and they kind of have a good bite like i don't like glasses that are too thick around here and these are really thin and i think they're a dupe of like the firm living ones um but they're only three pound each and i just got two because mark has a favorite glass and i have a favorite glass and oh my god we're so boring um but yeah i picked up two more because i was missing them what can i say i was missing them and then finally one of my favorite bedding plants are trailing petunias and this is a silver vein one they are my absolute favorite i don't always go for bedding plants obviously i've got plenty of perennials set up in my garden now front and back but if i want to add a pop of color or fill a gap and things like that these are my favorite they grow i picked this one up because it's actually the last one of its kind and i really like the color i don't really like reds and yellows and oranges i very much like pinks um blues lilacs whites in my garden just personal preference but they are stunning and they are really happy and as you can see because they're trailing they do kind of grow up and around and everywhere they're great for hanging baskets they're great for adding a bit of like height to pots so in my pot with the climbing rose that this trellis is for i'll probably put a few of these at the bottom of it just to add a bit of color at the bottom of the pot um and i just think they are fab they're two for 12 at b&m um, you can probably find them all over the place but just make sure you look for trailing ones because in my opinion those ones are usually a bit hardier and i just love the way that they like have a lot of volume to them so i was really pleased to see them especially because i think the color is stunning and that is everything that i picked up it's not overly exciting but i just thought i would share because um i actually really enjoy random hauls not the big big fancy ones because they're not always something that you can like obtain yourself but the little hauls where people have little ideas i like them um but yeah this, this is probably my favourite purchase. I just love flowers. Um, and I will do a garden update soon this week. I'll probably wait for the sun to come out so it looks a little bit more impressive. But we've been growing seedlings and, and all sorts. So, um, yeah, I will show you very soon. But have a lovely rest of your day. And thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. <laughs>